Right, hello everyone. So because of how popular this map seems to be, I'm deciding to do a Let's Play on it. Now this is the Baldacchino map which I reviewed the other day and a few people wanted me to do some Let's Plays on it and I like the map personally so I think I have definitely come to the decision of doing a Let's Play. So I'm going to start off obviously with the machines we've got here and we're going to see how well we can get on I might be buying a new drill immediately because I'm not sure what drill you get actually if you even get a drill and the fields in this map are on the large side so I am definitely going to have to invest in some drilling technology some seeding technology um, so we've got three combines which I don't think we really need Unless, of course, we go straight for a harvest. I'm not sure if we can harvest yet or not. We'll just have to look at this. Um, growing. So we have got some crops in. And yes, we do. Field number nine, number one, number eight, and number seven are ready to harvest. So I think what we will do is we will crack on with a harvest and then we'll buy a drill. And we will set that off on a worker while we do some other work so we've got wheat which is ready corn um, sugar beet and is that what is that barley I think it's barley that's ready so I think we will grab a trailer here and we will send the combines off we could actually do a really big harvest which would be nice in fact we've got two tractors so I'll get that tractor there on a drill now it's not going to take a great drill because it's not a very big tractor however we may be able to get it on the rapid um, but it's um, required horsepower 180 I don't think that Deutz is actually oh we don't want to buy it 143 so it probably would be able to pull it but it's going to get stuck on slopes so we're going to have to go with the pottinger do we have the pottinger? Uh, we do so I'm not going to buy another one ok so our drill is in the shed here so we're going to pick that up and then we'll take it over to a field I'm not sure which one we might not actually own too many fields I haven't looked but we will take it to a field and see if we own it if not we'll see if we can afford it and then we will purchase it or move on to the next it depends so we'll just head over to a random field which hasn't got any crops in right so I think I'm gonna go to field number five it's not ours but I'm gonna see if we can afford it I sold the lizard um, loader that big loader along with its bucket so we may be able to on this. I'm not sure if we can. It's not a very big field, so I can't see why we couldn't. Is there a ditch in there? there might be. I think we'll have to take the, the actual track here. Just in case. I don't want to get the tractor stuck. Okay, so down the nice country track here. And let's see how much it costs. Well, it's actually a bigger field than I thought. But we can afford it, so I've bought that. And it's um, ready to be drilled in, which is good. I'm not sure if this worker's going to like the shape of it. We will start at the funny end, the smaller end, and see if it can work its way down. Hopefully it won't get stuck too many times. I don't think there's too many collisions on the trees. I'm more worried about it getting stuck in a ditch or in a river or a pond or something. You can see the funny shape here. It's not going to like that too much. But we'll put some wheat in and see if it's going to enjoy it or not. Off you go. See if it gets stuck and then we'll move away. And we'll do some harvesting. Okay. Let's see. Actually, we'll come back to it because it's got to turn around. Okay, our lovely New Holland here with our two trailers. 
Now, we do own the wheat field. I've just checked. So we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to take the first combine. I don't know if we're going to need three. I'll see how we go. Oh! Don't want to be doing that too many times. Off the rear axle off. Where are our headers? Over there. Next to that old bus. Okay. So it's going to take a, a while to get each combine there, which is, uh, again, time consuming. But they're not very big combines, so if we're only going to use one or two, it's going to take quite a long time. Which is why we've been provided with three. Now, one thing I could do here is, if we can afford it, I could sell... Um, I could sell them all, and then I could buy one bigger one. I don't know if we'll be able to afford a bigger one though, even if you sell three, because these aren't very expensive. Um, so I don't really want to take that risk. I know we can look, but um, I don't think we will be able to afford anything. So I think for this first harvest we will go along with these three combines. I've never actually done three going at the same time, so it will be quite exciting. And then when we've done this field, we will see what we can do from there. I haven't checked if we've got anything in storage. If we've got something in storage, we can sell that too. And then decide from there. That is one bump. You don't want to be doing that too quick. Okay, so we're going to start with this straight edge here. Just so our worker doesn't get too confused to begin with. We will get this going, I think. We will get it on the move. And then get the next one moving. Somewhere else along here. And then we'll see if we need another one. Okay, so come on then. Our Sampo Rose and Lou. Get the next header and head over to the same field. I haven't actually checked to see where the tipping points are. I can see a few on the map. Um, I guess we'll be taking them to there to begin with and then we'll be moving away and selling them on later. Right, so we'll take the same route. There's always someone on that crossing, isn't there? Same chap always wants to get run over. Beacons. Well, it's still going. Looks like it's not turned around yet. I'm going to check on that drill. Make sure that's not got stuck either. What size is this bump? <laughs> Ooh, that's big. Okay, we'll take this one sort of halfway, I think. We could set the other one going in right at the far end. But I think we will check on the other machine first, just to make sure it's not got stuck on any trees. And then we'll come back to it. I'm really worried about one of the machines driving into the pond. I don't know how deep that is. Uh, I guess we could check. But if one goes in there and we lose it, then that's not going to be good. So I don't really want to be doing that. Um, okay then. Let's see if we can get autopilot working. Okay, it's not working. There we go. Decided to go eventually. Right, how deep is this then? No, I'm not too deep. We shouldn't lose nothing. I'm not a combine anyway. We should be okay with that. Shouldn't have to worry about our workers driving into a pond though. Still things like that happen I suppose. Alright, so finally we'll take our tractor. We might bring the other combine over like I say. I'm not too sure. We will make that decision soon if we need to. But two might be okay for now. So, no, it's my right of way. Come on, don't walk in front of me. Right. That's all. 
transit van. I always forget this road's got traffic on. Yeah, that looks good. We've got two going. We might put three on. I'm not sure. Don't want to miss a turning. That is a serious hump. <laughs> I want to bail it. I really want to bail it. I haven't checked if we can sell the bales or not. What's the yielding like on this thing? 52%, so it can just about get down again, I would have thought. Probably won't get all the way. How's our drill doing? Ah, oh, sigh. Sigh, 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 sigh. It's got stuck. Well, it's not got stuck, it's just given up. It's given up on us. Why, why do you have to go that way? I send it off down here, why can't it come back up this way? Still, I guess this time it won't because it's already drilled that part. Um, so now we can concentrate on getting number three out, I guess. We might as well get number three. We've got the time. So we will send him out and he can get cracking at the far end. Okay. Off we go. It would be easier with one big combine, I have to admit. Always someone to be run over. Why? At least we have a double trailer, that's nice. That will make it easier for emptying and loading. That combine is going to want emptying. That one will soon. And this one, we're going to set going now. It's a bigger field than it looks. Definitely. Definitely a bigger field than it looks. That is the thing about this map. I think it's quite deceptive. You can't really judge how big a field is looking at this map. They're actually pretty large. It's interesting that one's going that way, actually. Um which means that's going to go that way and they're going to meet up. I'll put this one down here then. It can go up the side and it can catch up with the other one going the other way. Now I don't know why the autopilot always gets stuck here. That's funny. Anyway, that seems to have managed it. That's good. Um, let's see. Tractor. Let's see if it needs emptying. There's a train over there. Now this one's requesting emptying. Is it moving? I think it is. Just about. Oh, I've just realised it's on the side where the field is, so we're going to be driving in the crops. Didn't want to do that. It always happens. It always seems to work out that way. You're driving in the crops. Still, um, if that's the way it's going to want to be, then that's the way we're going to have to do it, I guess. Um, now how do we... There we go. Get that sheet off. It's got stuck. Come on. Empty a bit in there. That one's got stuck, stuck too. That's interesting. Why have you stopped? Mm. That is the problem if you haven't got a totally square field. They just seem to stop. They don't know when they've come to the end of the field or not. Anyway, we shouldn't have too many more issues. This one's working. Those three seem to be working. How do you reverse one of these? Let's see how straight we can do it. Oh, the back one's going. The back one's going. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm going to jackknife. They are virtually impossible to reverse. I don't know how anyone can do it. I can just about reverse one for a small distance, but not two. That's just out of the question. So this one should be wanting to be emptied now. We will head over there. We'll go up to the top and see if it wants emptying. 
I really do like this map. It's a good map. It, the scenery is what gets me. It's just wow. It's just breathtaking. The way it's been done. It's very well made. Right, is it does it want to be emptied? Ah, oh, the other one does. Over there. Okay. Oh, and it's on the right side too, that's good. And it's still moving. Probably not for much further, but it's moving at the moment. Don't let it stop. I haven't set the automatic speed thing up. Get it down to the same speed. About five, is it? About five. Sure. Come on. Let me let me empty. Let me empty. Okay, don't let me. That means we're gonna be emptying on the move. In the field. Let's see if we can get to the end. It might. It might. We'll see. Oh my steering wheel just suddenly locked up. Turn to tight. Don't know why it did that. Hmm, maybe it needs reconfiguring. Interestingly, this is maximum speed of this tractor uphill with these two trailers on. It can seriously feel the weight. What tractor is it anyway? My T475. Yeah, we probably will be needing, needing to upgrade one of our tractors at some point. We've got two of those smaller ones. I kind of like them. I think we'll keep one, but we don't need two. The Deutz, well, we could sell it and get a bigger one, possibly. We'll see how it goes. Now, I've got a funny suspicion this track, this combine wants emptying in a minute. I think we'll do it now, so it doesn't empty in the field. Where are you going? I clearly came up to it to empty. I know it's moving. Hmm. Oh well. The other one wants emptying too. Will it come to the end though? Will it come to the end? I hope so. I do hope it does. I don't like emptying in the fields. These mud holes are amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Come on, keep coming. Keep coming. That is a picture actually. We could do um could do a print print screen here. There we go. Print screen. Right, it did it, so we can empty going up again, that's nice. Right, let's see if we can get the speed matching here. Five mile an hour is it? Looks like it's about six. Yep, six. Now that one wants emptying. It should have emptied at the bottom, that's crazy. Let's see if we can remove yeah, there we go, we've got the other one off now. Coming a bit of course. Oh no, it stopped. If only it emptied at the bottom. And that one is still going, luckily. Okay, I think we've come away from that one, but we'll still empty this one. That is an issue with three combines, you're literally chasing them all about. Waiting for each one to become full, and then they all come full at once. It's like waiting for a bus. Wow, it is a big field. I can see why we've got three combines. Perfectly straight lines though for these for this straw. That's that's good. I desperately want to buy a baler though. A round one probably. Um, yes, a round one definitely actually because you can't put the square ones in the bale shredders too easily. 
or in the feeders for that matter. All oh, these trailers, they're crazy. Okay, let's head down to get that combine now. This is literally a chasing game. And then we'll check on that cedar. Okay, so this one wasn't hanging about. It's managed to harvest all of that in the time we emptied those two. When we go and empty these two, they're going to literally all be full when we get back, waiting. Which is a little expensive on the worker front of things. Three combines sat there doing nothing. Still, we're not doing too badly money-wise at the moment. And we're only 44% full anyway, so we should be doing okay. I think we'll check on that cedar. Oh, it's doing alright. It shouldn't get stuck now anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. We shouldn't have to worry about it. So once this is drilled, we will probably spray it or something. Whatever we have to do. We might use a spreader. Not sure. But I don't think we need this tractor, like I say. Um, we've got two. I like the one on the mower. But I don't think we need one on a plough. I don't think it'd be very effective, to be honest. So, let's head over the other side. Those two will be full next. So, we'll go and catch them up. It will get a lot easier and quicker when they get closer together. It's just at the moment, uh, they're all spaced apart, so it makes things a lot harder. This tractor's really feeling the weight. Two trailers. I would like to enter the one at the bottom, but I know that if I go down there it's just going to ignore me again. So I think we'll get this one coming up. And then we may catch that one coming down again. If all things go to plan. Alright, come on in. Let's have what you've got. It's probably half full. It's about half full. Oh, setting off on a hill, not good. It's because I'm applying the speed matching. Train! Train! I mean, that is just the icing on the cake, isn't it? Having that train going across in the map. Just adds that a bit more realism and excitement to the map. It goes into a tunnel. Okay, that one's empty. Can we catch this one? This one's going to probably get full coming up. Uh, we might as well sit around here and wait for it to come. Um, you'll probably jump out of the tractor actually. Have a little wander. I like the way that you can see where your workers are on the mini map. In case you lose one. Let's see what percent it is. See what percent full it is. Oh, 68. It'll be fine then. We'll get it on the way down. I do want to get a baler though. Hmm. No, we had a truck. Now, I wonder where you sell your bales. Here or somewhere? Where do you do it? Not done the bales yet, so I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, they've got the firewood. Hmm. Tomatoes. Plenty of stuff. Oh, right, here we go. We'll get it on the way up. Not sure how much space there is left in uh, trailer one. I think it's probably almost full. A little bit more. Oh, 
Oh, don't reverse into me. Probably a bad move actually going up behind it there. Oh, really messed up now. Full power now. Flat out. Combine is beating us in the tractor. My foot is literally to the floor. Wow, that is heavy. You can't even make four miles an hour. The combine's going to be full. <laughs> oh, we shouldn't have come all the way down, pulling all this weight uphill. It is literally going to stop, isn't it? Come on, let's catch you up. Yes, we've done it. Get this trailer to the top and then we will move back over to that one over there. Almost full, I think we've cut it up. Cut the combine up. It's not going to move now. Right, we'll go back over the other way then. Looks like we'll be... it wants it now. We'll go over here. I don't want to be going over the other way because of the slope and we'll be doing three miles an hour again. Which I really don't want to be doing. I wonder if the smaller trailers, the really small trailers are better for this kind of thing. But I've going really quick with them, two of them, back and forth from the yard. I don't know, because these two are obviously quite big and heavy. Way too big for this tractor. Is that combine going to make it to the end? Hopefully... No, it didn't. Oh, look at that distance to the end. I reckon it's doing this on purpose to make me drive in the crops. A little more space in there. Fault. And finish a bit more in here. I think we'll empty because it's too heavy. They should be able to do a little more. We're 72% full, so it's not too bad a load, really. 73%. And now we're doing our flat out. Hey, it's doing 7. Not bad. Not bad for this tractor. With this weight on. Look at that. Foot to the floor. We'll be holding up the traffic at this rate. Right, so it looks like we've got a selling point here. Um, where are we looking? Just here? Is it this on the side? No, it's a bus shelter, isn't it? Hmm. That's not right, it's not there. There's no pit. Hmm. Is it... where is it? Hmm. In here? Well, I've got something here. But what's that the selling place for? Okay, um, it's not for this kind of thing. I think we will be going over to the freight yard, most likely. I don't think this tractor is going to be able to tip whatever 
it requires in there. There's no pit or anything, so it can't be for in there. Which means we're now going to have to turn around. Um, which is probably going to be quite fun with this. Without jackknifing. Not too bad. Right, we will... Ooh, traffic. Traffic, traffic. We'll accelerate behind you. And we will see if we can get to that freight yard. I know when we get back the combine's going to be waiting and I probably shouldn't think about it if brought it with only 73% in, but... I mean, this trailer is... This load is very heavy, so... We might actually just use three tra two tra well, three trailers, <laughs> one trailer from now on. I think we'll probably just use one. It'd be fine if we had a bigger, bigger tractor, but we don't. So, yeah, overtaking this fan is probably a large mistake. <laughs> hmm. So, freight yard is. Sand is on the right, freight rides on the left. Over the bridge, and then down that track. I think we go over the bridge anyway. Or do we not? Mm. Yeah, I will do. I think you can come round down there, go under the bridge, and then come back round. Impatient. Can't you see I've got a lot of weight on? I'm clearly illegally overloaded. Okay, I'm coming off, don't worry. Hey, it's alright going downhill. I love the realism. All the models are so well done and textured. Right, so we're here, finally. And it looks like we're going in here, somewhere. Hmm, better jump out and have a quick look. Don't want to be going in the wrong place. Um, huh. where is it? Where is our tipping point? Okay, so I've tipped and I'm leaving one trailer over there because that tipping point does not allow these trailers too well. You actually have to go up a ramp and tip backwards into it. And like you can see, these trailers are not the kind of trailers you can back up too easily. So it was impossible then to have to take one off and then tip that and then take the other one and tip that one as well. So yeah, I think I have got a plan, and it's going to be to use the small trailers, the single axle trailers, or the double axle, the smallest ones anyway, and use those to do our harvesting with, because otherwise we can't back up to that thing properly. But I think for this video, I think we've been, I've been faffing about too much, so I think for the next part I will do a little bit of research on where stuff is and how to use various things just so there's not as much messing about and we can actually crack on with some proper farming but yeah I think for this video that will probably do us I will see you in my next part which probably won't be too long thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video